Well, the gentleman riding around is Jeff Huskwith, and that is a steam bicycle which he built himself. And he will uh, do a couple of runs around. We're just waiting for the steam cars if they'd like to. If the steamers would like to come down and join us, cars. There comes a steam car. Now there's more. There's more, yeah. They've got to get them tired. Well, the steam bicycle and the steam cars are ready, so we'll bring them in. I, yeah, no, I'll just get the steam. steam cars that creep up behind you, can't even recover. Well ladies and gentlemen, this is the last arena display of the day and we're a little bit early but why not, we're going to bring them in, they'll still be here at 4 o'clock so you can see them. And if you'd like to do one more lap for us Jeff and then we'll do the hand over to you. Jeff will tell us all about the bike, where he's been with it and all the exciting things he's done, all the adventures he's had all over the year. And he's the man responsible for the steam gramophone, which is over in the area over there. Two cars going around. <laughs> and you see, they've got a real good turn of speed. He ain't even got a steering wheel, he's just got a, he's just got a stick. Yeah, he's got a stick, that's right. Yeah. 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 This one's got a steering wheel. Or, uh, that well, that one has one. Into line and I'll hand over to Jeff, who will tell you all about his concept of how he started off with this idea and how it worked. Beautiful cars coming into the line there, so quiet as you can see. No complaints from the neighbours about the exhaust note on these. <laughs> and the... Uh, they go just as fast backwards as they do forward, so that's one coming in in reverse to get into place. Yeah, Jeff Hutsmith will tell you all about the bicycle, how it's history, how he started with it, and where he's been with it over the years. Over to you, Jeff. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jeff Hutsmith, uh, builder of this steam bicycle. Uh, the first idea came to me for it in 1972, having had an early life of uh, interest in bicycles and motorbikes, you know, like all my sort of young friends at the time did. And um, anyway, uh, I got to the stage where uh, I'd had uh, Norton motorcycles that do 110 mile an hour and all, the, all that sort of thing. And I thought, well, what next now? And I thought, oh, it'd be very interesting to make a steam powered bicycle, steam powered motorbike or bicycle. Let's see how that goes. So that was how it all started. And uh, excuse me a second. Oh. Turn the burner down while we're talking. Yeah. Um, so from that point, I started to uh, 
think about how it was going to be and I pretty early on I thought well I want to be able to see the engine working as I'm riding because I like to watch it it's nice to see your engine working you know so I put it over the front wheel the boiler has to be as near as possible to the engine with any steam machine because you don't want long steam pipes losing heat so I put the boiler up the side of the front wheel so that was my design parameter for the layout of the machine uh, I then had to start learning engineering um, and, and acquiring the, the skills and the, the tools and the materials to produce the machine. Now the first thing I tackled was the boiler. Um, I designed a boiler as part uh, water tube, part fire tube, to be a, a tall, narrow um, boiler with the, the uh, heat source at the bottom, oil fired. Okay, it's uh, paraffin. Originally it was just paraffin. Now it's uh, paraffin and petrol mixture. Um, so that gives me very efficient uh, hot combustion, you know, and it's very easy to carry oil in a tank, uh, so that, that's easy to do. Um, okay, so the first thing I made was the boiler. I had that finished by about 1989. I used to steam my friend's engines with my boiler, actually, for a couple of years, uh, while I was building my engine. And I had my engine finished in 1994 and uh, I ran it for a couple of years again driving a dynamo as a stationary steam dynamo 